What you're about to see will absolutely blow your mind. And the best part? It is completely free. Imagine creating a beautiful storybook filled with stunning images, each page perfectly designed to match the story. Look at these graphics so clean, so vibrant, and so professional. This is not just cool, it is game-changing. And today, I am going to show you exactly how to do it using Google Nano Banana AI. If you have ever wanted to write and publish a storybook with your phone or computer, this tutorial is for you. I will guide you step by step, from structuring a prompt to generating a full storybook you can sell on Amazon KDP to start earning money. So stick with me till the very end because you do not want to miss a single step. So pay close attention and do not skip any part of this video. The first step is simple. Head over to your Google and search for Google Gemini. Many of you may already have it installed on your phone or computer but if not, download it. And if you do, make sure it is updated to the latest version. Once you are done, open the app and make sure it is set to 2.5 flash. If it is not, simply switch it. Next, click on the hamburger icon and select Storybook. This will take you to the Storybook creation page. I have a sample prompt that I will paste in to generate our story. Do not worry about creating the perfect prompt just yet, because I will later show you exactly how to structure a strong prompt that produces professional results. Once the prompt is pasted, send it to Gemini. Watch carefully as the storybook begins to generate. Look at that, it is building a complete book for us automatically. Let's open it and see what we get. The storybook loads directly on their official site where you can read it page by page or even listen to it with AI voice narration. This one came out as a 20-page storybook, but you can always make yours longer by adjusting the prompts. That is why learning how to structure your prompts is so important, and I will show you exactly how I did it to get these results. Now, let's go through this storybook together, explore its details, and see the magic of AI storytelling in action. One of the best features of this process is that the AI can actually read the story aloud. This makes it perfect for kids who enjoy listening to stories. So let's try it out together and listen a bit to what our storybook sounds like. Simply click the listen button and enjoy. The boy who dreamed of machines. In the bustling city of Inugu, Nigeria, a boy named Peter was born. His family had little, yet his heart brimmed with big dreams. Even as a child, he loved watching machines come alive. Peter's father sold small items in the market, while his mother hawked vegetables by the roadside. Their earnings barely covered food and shelter. School fees often hung like a mountain they could hardly climb. At night, Peter studied under a dim kerosene lantern. Electricity came rarely, so shadows were his constant companion. Still, he refused to let darkness silence his determination. Knowledge was his brightest light. He loved following mechanics in his neighborhood. Peter watched carefully as they opened engines, spread out rusty parts, then brought them back to life. To him, it was pure magic. Machines breathing again through human hands. When people asked what he wanted to be, Peter never hesitated. His eyes would sparkle as he replied firmly, I want to be an engineer. Many laughed thinking poverty would crush such bold dreams. Though mocked and doubted, Peter pressed on. He borrowed textbooks from classmates, begged teachers for extra notes, and filled old exercise books with sketches of machines. His imagination built bridges where money could not. Secondary school came with greater struggles. Uniforms tore easily, shoes wore out quickly, and food was never enough. Yet Peter's grades stood tall, proof that determination was stronger than hardship. His dream burned brighter each day. When he finished secondary school, the real challenge arrived. University tuition was enormous. His parents looked at him with tired eyes, unsure how they could ever pay. For Peter, quitting was never an option. He worked menial jobs to gather money. At the market, he carried heavy loads. After school hours, he tutored younger children. Sometimes, he repaired broken radios and fans. Slowly, he saved coins toward his future. Finally, a letter arrived. The University of Nigeria, Nsuka, offered him admission to study engineering. 
tears filled his eyes. His dream was no longer a fantasy. It was unfolding before him like a sunrise. F campus life was Wow, this is incredible. I built this whole story with a tiny prompt and it generated in seconds. I can download it, publish it anywhere, and even share it with others right away. You do not need to know how to write a book to do this. I started with a rough idea, fed it into an AI and the result was a complete polished storybook. Every chapter comes with its own graphic that matches the text. The images line up with the story so each page feels intentional and alive. To get that layout I keep each page short about 35 to 40 words so there is room for a full illustration. You can change that if you want or tell the system not to include pictures. Being specific about page length and image placement matters. Here is the workflow I used. First I narrated the story in plain language. Think of it like telling a writer what happened. I then used ChatGPT to turn that narration into a well-structured detailed manuscript. For example, I said I wanted a 20-page book about a boy named Peter with each page limited to 35 to 40 words and ChatGPT wrote the full story for me. If you already know how to write, you can skip the narration step and refine your own draft. If you do not, simply tell ChatGPT the story the way you remember it and let it craft the text for you. Once the story is ready, the next step is to convert it into a prompt that Google Gemini will follow exactly. If you paste raw prose into Gemini, it will try to rewrite the book. To prevent that, I ask ChatGPT to format the story to a precise prompt in a code style so Gemini understands each page should match the original exactly. That way page 1 on my draft becomes page 1 in Gemini, page 2 becomes page 2 and so on. I copy the prompt, paste it into Gemini storybook, and send it. The result matches my manuscript complete with images and layout. Copying the prompt as code makes the instructions crystal clear and gives consistent results. After the book is generated you can review and edit anything, then share it with your friends, print or download and publish it. Now about earning from this work, I will show you a platform where you can sell your book. The best platform is Amazon Kindle Direct Publishing, known as Amazon KDP. You can publish ebooks and print books including paperback and hardcover via print on demand. You set the price and earn royalties. For many ebooks KDP pays up to 70% royalty in certain price ranges. I am not promising instant wealth but KDP is one of the largest marketplaces and a solid place to start. If you want step-by-step -step help on KDP sign up and publishing. There are excellent YouTube tutorials that walk you through the process in detail. And that's it. You just saw how easy it is to create a complete storybook for free using ChatGPT and Google Gemini, then publish it on Amazon KDP. With these tools you don't need to be a professional writer or illustrator. All it takes is your idea, the right prompts and a little creativity. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe for more step-by-step -step guides on using AI to create and earn online. Drop your questions in the comments and let me know what type of book you're planning to create. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. The Boy Who Dreamed of Machines In the bustling city of Inugu, Nigeria, a boy named Peter was born. His family had little, yet his heart brimmed with big dreams. Even as a child, he loved watching machines come alive. Peter's father sold small items in the market, while his mother hawked vegetables by the roadside. Their earnings barely covered food and shelter. School fees often hung like a mountain they could hardly climb. At night, Peter studied under a dim kerosene lantern. Electricity came rarely, so shadows were his constant companion. Still, he refused to let darkness silence his determination. Knowledge was his brightest light. He loved following mechanics in his neighborhood. Peter watched carefully as they opened engines, spread out rusty parts, then brought them back to life. To him, it was pure magic. Machines breathing again through human hands, 
When people asked what he wanted to be, Peter never hesitated. His eyes would sparkle as he replied firmly, I want to be an engineer. Many laughed, thinking poverty would crush such bold dreams. Though mocked and doubted, Peter pressed on. He borrowed textbooks from classmates, begged teachers for extra notes, and filled old exercise books with sketches of machines. His imagination built bridges where money could not. Secondary school came with greater struggles. Uniforms tore easily, shoes wore out quickly, and food was never enough. Yet Peter's grades stood tall, proof that determination was stronger than hardship. His dream burned brighter each day. When he finished secondary school, the real challenge arrived. University tuition was enormous. His parents looked at him with tired eyes, unsure how they could ever pay. For Peter, quitting was never an option. He worked menial jobs to gather money. At the market, he carried heavy loads. After school hours, he tutored younger children. Sometimes, he repaired broken radios and fans. Slowly, he saved coins toward his future. Finally, a letter arrived. The University of Nigeria, Nsuka, offered him admission to study engineering. Tears filled his eyes. His dream was no longer a fantasy. It was unfolding before him like a sunrise. Campus life was hard.